What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, where we are back for a brand new, fun, and exciting tutorial. Today, we're going to do another simple design, white uh, party design, and I already got everything lined up, so we just want to kind of just, I'm going to teach you today how to just do placements. Um, and we'll go over whatever detail we need to make. Uh, yeah, as you see, we shrinking it here down. We're just pulling up the, the primary element. Now, if you hear a little bit of screaming in the, in the background, that's my wife watching the brand new season of Bridgerton. I, mean, I don't know what... The, I'll just shut them out. You know, I just ignore them. You know, she got a company of other friends and they are eating, drinking wine and eating crackers and cheese. And they, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, we already got the elements pulled up. What I want to show you today, fam, is how we can have, as long as you got some really good quality assets, you can put together a flyer within 10, 15 minutes. You shouldn't have to take no longer than 15 minutes if you have all the assets at your access, all right? I'm not trying to sell. You know, I'm, I'm not even gonna post a link. If you wanna know where to get the access, uh, assets, Go watch one of the other tutorials but I just want to show you how easy it is to put together a flyer when you have all the content right there at your fingertips so all these elements that you see right now we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, do some things here let's desaturate this chair right here but if you already got the assets everything else is really truly simple like for example, you pull up the chair, you just, just adjust some colors, you, you put them in the right place, you're good to go. You desaturate this chair right here. And we're, we're gonna do another black and white, not a black and white, but a white party design tutorial. And uh, let's go up here and uh, let's go to our adjustments, set our levels, and uh, we're gonna add some, a little bit of contrast to the chair. Line it up a little bit, boom, there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and pull it behind her, of course. That, that's where it should be. And I'm gonna let's go ahead and shrink it down. I'll pull it up. And um, let's, um, you know, well, of course, that's the Bridgerton chair. Everything is a Bridgerton now. <laughs> of course, you're not dressed like a Bridgetonette, if that's what you want to call it. Go ahead with uh, adjust this chair a little bit. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and pop on one of our balloon layers. And uh, let's select it and shrink it. And uh, let's place it a little behind her right ear. If you're looking at, you know, at a monitor, it's going to be her left ear. But it's really her right ear if you turn her face. And uh, that's cool. And it's really, it's really that easy. Um, I don't want y'all to overthink it. I actually want you to take this tutorial and actually redo it. Pay attention to it, watch it over and over again. Just look at the placement, man. It's where I place the things. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I. It's where typically we would place the designs. Let's go ahead and pop on our uh, layer. Let's pop on our disco bills nose. Mm -hmm, I said bills and all, because I don't like to say balls <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> but anywho, we're going to uh, pop on our disco balls. And let's um, put that one in front of her. And um, uh, uh, we'll slide it to the to the left. And we'll pop another one and slide it to the right. Or, you know, the left or right, depending on you know, how you want to do it. Let's go ahead and pop on the headboard. Now, we talked about the headboard in the other video. Like, why we need a headboard in the club? Like, what do the headboard mean? I guess it means bedtime after the club. <laughs> or, you know, maybe you want to, I don't know, go to bed as soon as you... I mean, if you're drinking Grey Goose in the club, and you got two bottles of Grey Goose, of course you want to go to bed after the fact. Now, one thing that we didn't do is uh, add the background. Let's go ahead and add the, um, the background layer. And all that's going to be is a simple vignette. And to make a simple vignette, you make one, the background layer, completely gray, dark gray. And then you add another layer, you make that lighter gray, and then you put a Gaussian blur on it. And once you put the Gaussian blur, you soften it up. And that gives it a silhouette. So that way, when we bring the image back in, and let's do one more. Let's, uh, let's just kind of add a even more lighter or wider um, vignette. And let's go ahead and uh, let's click that. Go ahead and make that another Gaussian blur. 
soften it a little bit but okay and now we got a pretty sorry about that we got a pretty good um situation set up right here all right so with that now i like to make sometimes i like to make multiple copies of that and then merge them down so that's what we just did now let's go ahead and pull this up let's adjust this like so twist it around flip it and um we can let's, let's soften the edges so we won't have any straight lines you know we it's, it's a subliminal thing you know with this headboard you know you don't have to be but you know headboards is cool and um our, uh we're going ahead and cut all our images back on very very simple placements i mean anybody can do this you know a five-year-old can do it um and then we just put on our tags you know our placeholders now we may need to make some adjustments because the placeholders now the reason why i like to make placeholders and i had already taught this in other tutorials is because you really don't have to you know actually the, the uh, text placeholders um saves you a lot of time because it's a lot of work to set up the, the the placeholders it's a lot of work to setting up the text see they're screaming and hollering in the background about bridgerton so i don't know what it is about bridgerton the duke and them the other duke is gone so i don't know what's going on right now anywho uh let's go ahead and uh, erase and fade so that we can see a little bit of the text we, we don't want it to we don't want you your eyes to fight to be able to um read the text we want it to be legible so we adjust her a little bit and you see how easy this was i mean it didn't take a long time it wasn't long and drawn out you know it's um it's it's really it's very simple um uh, but it's not simple to people that just have absolutely no idea how graphic design works if you have absolutely no clue and you want to learn more, of course, you know, you can go to the link and you can take you can take my, you know, my intense course. But you'll basically be learning the, the, the fundamentals of design. You'll learn the rules, the layouts. We're going to merge all these together. Actually, what we're going to do is select everything so we can move it down so we can have some space so it could be readable, legible. But anyway, um... You know, if you want to learn more, of course, you know, you can just join the, the classes, the courses. But I ain't even going to put the courses in the link. You know, you got to watch another tutorial. And if you really want to learn the courses, just find one of the videos. Uh, I got the courses linked everywhere, but I'm not going to over. You know, what I want to do is just kind of just right here. What we're doing here is just adding glows. I'm just going to add the glows here. That's why I got the gray goose bottles, I got the white chair, got the disco balls, and I'm highlighting it with um, with blue, and, uh, and of course with Lanier Dodge set as the you know the layer. Okay, and then we hit that, and we go up here, just kind of jazz it up a little bit more, and um, even you know just on spots that you wouldn't even think, you just kind of just add it here. I look low there, low there, and, and it's up to you. You know, you can you can tone it down, dial it down, however you want. But that, that you know, this is pretty much, pretty much it. And uh, I like to sometimes adjust the levels of the blues mm. to make it even more bluer, and it works out. Works out pretty good. And uh, that's it. All right, that's it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, until the next time, man. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'll see y'all when I spin it. Make sure you know, check out another one if you want to learn even more. You will enjoy it. I promise you. All right. Till the next time. So you want to see you when I spin it. See you in a minute. Peace,